I choose Geo. Oh, temperament. Temperament was a really, really big deal to me. So people have asked me, why did we fly to Salt Lake City? Why did we go through this whole process? Why didn't we just let the dogs, you know, hang out in the backyard and, you know, sniff and all this stuff? <laughs> so temperament was a really big deal. I wanted to meet Gio. I wanted to, even though we had video call with his owner, who's so sweet, um, I wanted to meet him. I wanted to experience how he met Ruffy. I wanted to experience him, how he met me, um, how he felt about someone coming into his home. I wanted to observe all of his traits in that department in terms of his temperament, his amiability, his calmness, um, his fear with new things. So I wanted to see that in person. You know, you can have conversations about it, but until you see it in person, you don't actually know. Um, of course, Gio is so cute. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like this is the best experience. It was so sweet, everyone. It was so sweet. He just, Gio has this like beautiful open energy and he's so amiable and loving. Oh my gosh, he just wanted to love and kiss and he like burrowed into my neck and it was just really lovely to see um, that kind of, you know, that personality and so I really wanted of course that's also the way Ruffy is and I really wanted to keep that clear in whoever she's breeding um so we talked about hypoallergenic for size temperament um also color so both Ruffy and Geo are the same kind of like chestnut color and they both started out a little bit redder when they were born. So I wanted to maintain this kind of blondish brownish color that Ruffy is now. Um, I think that that's just an adorable color and I think that it's so beautiful to have that um, Irish spotting that Geo has. So hopefully we'll have some puppies that have the white spots and some puppies that have just um, the full brown and we will see. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to breed Ruffy again. People have said, is this Ruffy's only litter and not, can we be on the wait list for next time? I can certainly keep your name and um, we can chat, but I'm not sure if I will breed Ruffy again. I still want to do a lot of research after her birth in that, um, in that I'd love for her to, I'd love to know the implications of the wear and tear on her body, uh, maybe personality changes, hormonal changes, and what that means for her health long term. Uh, certainly will not be breeding her twice a year. I know some um, breeders do twice a year and immediately after the dog is pregnant, then two months later they're pregnant again. Certainly won't be doing that, but maybe in a couple years I might do another litter based on what I find after this process. Um, why do you let the, why did you choose insemination? So insemination felt to me like the more conscious breeding choice. Um, as I said before, so I'm just going to get into the details <laughs> because I don't have any other way to explain it, but naturally when the dogs tie, so it's called tying, uh, the boy dog can be attached to the girl dog from anywhere from 10 minutes to 40 minutes. And sometimes during that time, they get kind of scared because they're like, why am I attached to this other dog? Um, and especially if they've never been through the process before, they might start to feel either angry or they might start to feel anxious. And then of course, if they try to break apart, then that can damage the, um, the uterus uh, on the girl dog. So it's really, really more safe for both of the dogs to uh, do insemination. I think, to be honest, Ruffy enjoyed the insemination experience more. Um, I feel like it was all very positive. It was all, you know, everyone knew what they were doing and Ruffy was excited and had fun. Again, she was just calm and happy the whole time. There was no stress. So I felt that I had a lot more control over her uh, emotional or energetic experience around this with the insemination. Um, 
yeah, that's mostly the, that's mostly why. Um, of course, with, with all the current climate and the discussion of con consent, I also felt a little bit more like, I don't know if I really want to just have Ruffy, you know, running around the woods with another dog and fingers crossed, you know? It felt a little rudimentary, to be honest, and I also feel like with all the information we have and all of the um, all of the things and being able to chat with other breeders, I just felt like this is the right choice for me and the right choice for Ruffy as well. Okay, so that's a lot of the questions. There's still more, but these videos are getting long. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoys this. Please send more questions. I'm happy to chat. Um, February 14th, Valentine's Day is her due date. So keep keep looking at the socials for more updates, more questions being answered. And then of course, I'm also gonna have a little puppy cam um, when she when the puppies arrive.